Hello, folks. I haven't been around much lately on this uh, wonderful YouTube, uh, so apologies for that. I uh, had a few little issues. But I want to talk about singing rather than playing a little bit. Um, this morning I was listening to a woman's programme on uh, BBC Radio 4, and there was a young lady called Alina Ibragimova being in, in, interviewed. She's a young um, professional classical violinist from Russia, now resident in the UK, uh, talking about um, a concert she's going to do. And um, she is something of a prodigy. She grew up in a family of professional uh, musicians. Her mother was a professional violinist and teacher, and taught her a lot. And um, she said something very important. She said that she could play violin very, very well, very accurately at a very early age. But she felt that she really needed to live life and to experience life a lot more in order to become a better um, player of the classical pieces that she specialises in. Now that reminded me of an occasion when I was given um, complimentary tickets at a concert of four famous guitarists uh, in about 19, uh, 1980, 1983, something like that. And um, a great guitarist that I knew uh, somewhat uh, called Diz Disley was on the uh, on the bill, but he introduced introduced a, a very young, talented young Manouche player, um, you know, in the style of Django Reinhardt, that sort of thing. And his name was Birelli Lagren. And I've just checked his details. He was about 14 to 15 to 16 at that time of that concert. And he came up and he played extremely well, extremely fast. He played... Uh, numbers that have become classics associated with Django Reinhardt. Um, but I felt there was something lacking there. I don't think there's anything lacking in Borelli Legren's talents now, I should say straight away. But he was playing the guitar very well and very fast. But we singers and guitarists need to do more than that, and sometimes less. Um, and so... Uh, I thought I'd try and illustrate this with just a, a smattering of a couple of songs. Um, and uh, um, I'm, I'm going to draw a parallel between singing a song and acting a part as an actor. Something that I've done just a little bit of in the, in the past. So there's a song that I'm very fond of at the moment called uh, Poor Boy's Delight. And I'm just going to sing the verse verse in two ways. This is one way. Would you dance with me, Maggie? It's a Saturday night. There's a chill in the air. And do you think that you might want to dance with me, Maggie? To an old fiddle tune playing soft like the wind through Virginia and June. Yes, soft like the wind through Virginia. Now, if you were a young boy at a dance on a Saturday night and there was a girl there that you really wanted to get to know and you wanted to dance with in order to get to know, would you talk to her like that? Or would you maybe communicate with her like this? Would you dance with me, Maggie? It's a Saturday night, there's a chill in the air Do you think that you might want to dance with me now? To an old fiddle tune playing soft like the wind Through Virginia in June Yes, soft like the wind through Virginia in June There's empathy there, there's, there's a little bit of emotion, yeah? Another song that always gets me, and I think I might have mentioned this in a previous video um, it's a Bob Dylan song, um, and it's Don't Think Twice, It's All Right, which to me is a guy saying, look, this relationship is over, I'm leaving, uh, you never did understand me, and 
you'll never understand why. So, you know, just forget it all. That's what it's, that's what the song's saying. So should you sing it like, Ain't no use to sit and wonder why, babe. Should it be more like Well it ain't no use to sit and wonder why I'd be if you don't know why now and it ain't no use to sit and Right, a little bit of heartbreak in it. We're acting. I firmly believe that when I sit up and play guitar and sing a song, that I am playing a part. Um, I don't have any bitter feelings to anybody that um, I've had a relationship with and left, but I do for the three minutes that I'm singing that song. I'm long way from a late teens and twenties young chap that wants to meet a girl on a Saturday night dance but I can remember when I was and when I did and so we need a little bit of emotion you can call it soul you can call it empathy call it what you like but um, let's put some feeling in our song some expression let's tell the tale it doesn't matter whether you wrote the song or whether you're doing a cover of somebody else's song. For that three, four, five minutes, it's your story and you're telling um, the audience that story. And you always want, you want to involve your audience. You want them to listen to you and to feel with you. Yeah, just for sure. That is the magic of a good performer, I think. Um, think of some of the people that can pull at your heartstrings. Um, Joan Bias when she was singing her passionate songs um, that that soul in the voice of Emmy Lou Harris um, and um, I'm running out of ideas now but it doesn't matter you understand the principle um, so you need to be a good musician or at least you need to be a competent musician you need to be able to sing in tune mostly but you need to give a little bit more just a little bit more. You need to tell that story. And that's my little message for today. So um, I hope that helps. And uh, I always welcome some little questions in the comments below. So if you have been, thanks for watching. Bye.